This is my MacBook Pro 14 inch with M2 processor. It is an amazingly powerful laptop. I use it with a U2723 QE monitor, which is a wonderful USB C3 hub screen from Dell. When I work on it, I just need to connect it to my laptop with a single USB C cable, and it provides the power and connects all my peripherals. To expand the storage available for me from the laptop, I used to use a classic HDD external storage with a USB-C connection, and sometimes also my home server with a 12 terabyte of RAID storage. While storing media, for example photos or videos, on an external storage is usually fine, working with it, let's say in a DaVinci Resolve, is quite difficult if that storage is not fast enough. That's why I decided to purchase this NVMe enclosure to supercharge my MacBook Pro with 4 terabytes of super fast USB 4 external storage and I'm going to review it in this video. Hello guys. So, I got this Satechi enclosure for NVMe drives with USB 4 connectivity as well as a WD 4 terabyte NVMe SN850 drive with my hopes that this combo will significantly boost my storage without the premium cost that Apple charges for internal upgrades. So maybe I'll explain a little bit what I mean by this. Apple's policy on selling you upgrades rests on offering you semi-suitable options where you'd be compelled to jump either to a high tier device or forced to upgrade some internal characteristics of your device, say storage capacity, but for quite a higher price than what you'd pay for a similar component in a hardware store. For example, Apple's price for a 2TB upgrade of internal storage is around $600 or €600. Euros. And the combined price of WD 4TB drive that I showed you earlier and SATH enclosure is around 400 so instead of paying 30 cents per gigabyte, you end up paying 10 cents, basically winning three times as much per gigabyte. In my opinion, that's an unbeatable value. So what do you get for this money? Let's start with the enclosure. The enclosure is made out of aluminum with an additional protective plastic shell on top of it. It houses NVMe M2 drives of various sizes and it has USB 4 which is compatible with Thunderbolt 4 standard that MacBook Pro has and provides 40 gig gigabit per second bandwidth. The aluminum housing helps to dissipate the heat and it also has an additional thermal sticker for the drive. An important factor here is that you should only put an NVMe drive without a heat sink in this enclosure, uh, otherwise it won't fit. Finally, it's fairly small, so I can always tuck it in the side bag or put it with my computer mouse or any kind of accessories. It would fit uh, any bag or any um, handbag that you have. And as for the drive, I got, as I said, WD Black, uh, the four terabyte storage, SN850. Uh, it should be more than enough for this particular storage enclosure. Obviously, it would have been faster inside a PC, but I don't want to use it with a PC. I want to use it with my MacBook. Um, I went with the fastest drive because they all cost approximately the same amount when talking about 4 terabytes of storage. It's an overkill for this particular enclosure in terms of speed, but it doesn't matter for me. Uh, I'm not losing much, which I'll show you later with a speed test. Now let's see how easy it is to install. And it's actually super easy. There is a very small detailed instruction within the enclosure. Uh, you basically need to slide off the enclosure's lock, then you open it up, put the drive in, secure it with a special rubber plug. It's included with the, uh, with the box, so you actually don't need to screw the drive in like you would on the motherboard for a PC. After that, you attach the terminal sticker, close up the enclosure, and uh, you're done. It's a straightforward process that requires no technical expertise whatsoever. Um, and finally, inside the box, you'll find a surprisingly short cable for the super fast USB 4 speeds. 
now that the enclosure is assembled, let's see how it runs. In order to see how good the Satechi enclosure is, I wanted to conduct a series of tests. First, with normal file transfers against the classic USB 3 attached HDD and my home network attached storage server, which also has HDD disks inside. Second to that, I wanted to run a benchmark with the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test software on my internal drive, on Satechi, on the attached USB 3 HDD, and on my NAS. And finally, I wanted to try and export a video with DaVinci Resolve from internal drive and compare how more performant the Santechi enclosure would be. So here are the results. When copying a 10 gigabyte dummy file to the USB 3 attached HDD, the copying was finished in 4 minutes and 48 seconds. The same file being copied to my network attached storage took me around 2 minutes and 20 seconds so about twice as fast. But copying the same file to the Satechi enclosure took four seconds. This little guy managed to take seconds for the job that his older siblings took minutes for. As a next test, I ran Blackmagic benchmarks on all these devices and the internal drive of my MacBook, and you can see results on the screen. Blackmagic shows whether you can expect to comfortably work or play specific resolutions and formats of videos from the drive you are benchmarking. So, as you can see, both internal drive and Satechi are hundreds times faster than my NAS or external USB 3 HDD. It is very interesting to note that the internal drive is almost as twice as fast as what Satechi is capable of. So, how would it compare to the real-world usage scenario? That's why I wanted to try out a scenario expert in a 17-minute 4K video for YouTube with the final video in H.265 encoding with a size of 3.7 gigabytes. Leveraging the MacBook's internal storage for such a task clocked in at 4 minutes and 29 seconds, a respectable time considering the file size and quality. With Satechi enclosure, my MacBook did the same within 6 minutes and 8 seconds. While slightly longer than the internal drive, for me, there is very little difference. In my opinion, it's a small price to pay for the flexibility and expanded storage capacity it offers without sacrificing significant performance or paying a premium for a laptop with a larger capacity just because you fell victim to the Apple's upselling tricks. In conclusion, I'm super happy I got this Satechi enclosure and an amazing NVMe drive. They both offer a blazingly fast speed and very big storage capacity at a fraction of the cost of internal upgrade. I know that I can always upgrade it with the larger storage if needed, and it's portable, it's easy to use, so if you ever think about paying a significant amount of money for internal storage, extra internal storage, like when you're buying a MacBook, please stop and consider this wonderful solution. And on this note, this video is over. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.